just the, you know, uh, I mean, words don't really like cover. I mean, I'm just um, been training really hard and, and um, these moments don't come around very often. So I know I've got to try and capture this moment and um, do the best I can. And I'm excited to do it. We've got a great young team. So, yeah, we're all, we're all firing on all cylinders and can't wait to get out there. Now it's 39 days to go and, and count him. Knee's good. Yeah, knee's good. I'm, I'm flying at the moment, playing really good table tennis and working hard um, every day. We've, had, we've got a great team here with the S&C coaches and in Sheffield and with my support, you know, with the support staff, I, I've had amazing like rehab and yeah, I'm, pl I'm playing probably, probably the best of my career. So I'm just excited to getting out there and getting going. And the surgery was last January. Um, so like yeah, quite a while ago now, um, in the, it was end of, end of January. Um, and, um, it took me to, so we're talking about last year. Yeah. So I did my rehab during lockdown in, in like March, you know, February, March, April. And it took me till like, well, it was about nine months to 10 months before I even hit a ball. So that's how, how bad the injury was. It was a, you know, crucial ligament. So it was like a long time. Um, but yeah, I kind of got more hungry because of it. You know, I, I felt I was missing it every day. And like, um, I was born to play table tennis and to win. To, to win gold medals so I just like I feel like it's destiny that I had that moment you know I've, I've, I've been given this chance to compete because I would have probably missed the games if it would have stayed at the same time so I'm pretty lucky really it was it was really hard I mean I've, I've always been quite like my mindset is like when I when I when I got told I had a crucial ligament injury it was like okay let's just get on with it and let's try and recover but it's not as easy as that. Um, I've had so many ups and downs. I mean, when I first started playing, it was like trusting the knee that it wasn't going to give way. And it's a psychological thing because you like you when you've had that happen to you, you think it could happen again. So you're like a bit worried. But um, to be fair, like the support that I've had has been really world class. I don't, I'm so lucky because my brother's torn his cruciate ligament. He's like, I can't believe you got like how much support you've had with that injury. Like I needed that as well. So. I am very grateful for the support I've had and it's made a massive difference. And there's obviously been a lot of talk about injury and, and strictly as well. And you said in the past, there's no regrets about, about doing that. But I imagine you're quite eager now to, uh, to have people talking about your, your table tennis ability rather than rather yeah. than dancing. I, yeah, I'm a table tennis player. That's what I do. And, and I, I'm not, I, I'm an, it's just natural for me to get on a table. I feel really at home and I feel like... Um, it's my destiny to be a table tennis player. You know, I was bought a table tennis table when my, I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and I had a mini table tennis table in my hospital. And it's just something that makes me feel good. And I feel really comfortable playing table tennis. Whereas when I'm dancing, I definitely didn't. So yeah, it's nice to be doing something that I love. I, I don't know, sometimes, I mean, I'm, a, I'm massively like proud of what I've achieved sports wise. And like, I don't think maybe I mean, I don't think really the public understand how much it took for me to do that or like anyone, like even even my own family, when I say how much I had to train and how much, you know, how much I've had to sacrifice for the game. Like they, they, they don't understand, you know, unless you spend time training with me and like come into the National Centre and see me training and how hard we work here. I don't think it's, it's hard to it's hard to sort of like put it into words. So like, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm probably I'm probably I'm no more as a dancer which is just one of those things and I'm just rubbish at that. So it's not ideal, but I'm going to, um, I'm, I want to, I want to sort of, I want to go out there in Tokyo and show people exactly what I can do on as a table tennis player and show people, you know, I've always said I was a great player, so I need to go and prove it again and, and show that I can do what I can do and, and actually like show, show people that Paralympic table tennis can be great. You know, it can be amazing. So that's my aim. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't feel any extra pressure because, like, um, I wanted to win this gold medal in Rio just as much as I do now. I mean, and in London 2012. So, I definitely, it's my own pressure that I put under myself. But I do feel like I've got more support this time. I mean, in terms of, like, people knowing who I am and people, like, looking out for my results and stuff, which I just see as a good thing and a positive. And it's exciting to be, you know, to have new fans to table tennis, new new people that are supporting the sport. So that's only a good thing. And and I'm looking forward to showing them showing them what I do. And yeah, it's gonna be good.